Hello everybody and welcome back to Final Fantasy 12 where Was I do I was gonna do something. We're gonna finish this fight and then I'm gonna fix friggin um what's her name? Ash's friggin game, it's cause they're ridiculous right now. It's probably yeah, it's too late. <laughs> I should have done it sooner, but it's fine. Poor thing's just a sword bot now, but she doesn't she doesn't do anything. Uh, let's see. Nope, not party. Gambits. Ash. Holy jeez. Uh, lightning week. Not that I think we're gonna fight anything lightning week or ice week in here, but uh, fire week, and I will just. Too bad she doesn't have like a regen ability for MP right now. I don't think so anyway. <laughs> um Okay. So right now she's just gonna be a sword bot until her MP comes back. Cause I don't know. Maybe when she levels up. Maybe when she levels up, we'll be able to. Um, I don't know if it'll, I don't think it refills her, her MP when she levels up, because it doesn't refill your, um, well, what's your deal? Slow, I'm slow. Items, um, I don't think I have... I don't even think we have any magic that removes slow because I probably wouldn't have bought it because I'm like, I haven't really encountered that yet. Bummer! Let's see. Let's see what we have. Okay, I'm a bit confused. Faith cleanse. I don't even know. If, I don't even know if that's in within her capabilities. Let's look at campus. I don't blind box poison. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. We don't have anything for slow, so unfortunately, I'm not really sure what that's gonna do to him. But uh, here we are. looking. You can't, you can't block all of us, little, little creature. This is actually, oh, it's a dead end. We could loop back to this and go down to this bottom area, which, yeah, we'll probably do, we'll probably do that. Just to get maximum leveling done here. Or just keep going in a circle until we friggin', you know, figure out what we need to figure out. Ash, you friggin' almost leveling up yet? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be ages. Not actually ages, but it feels like ages. Let's have him take a potion. Actually, let's have you take a potion too. Perfect. Anyway, one of the things about the um illusionist that I wanted and why I was like trying to kind of decide. I'm not like a big min maxer by any means um, but 
I was looking, I was looking for like a like a race stat, I guess, that helps buff the intelligence. Because for a wizard, you intelligence is your cast, essentially. Um, so, I but I wasn't like super duper worried about it. I think the drow is a plus one, and I think the tiefling has a plus one too. But it's not something that I again, like I wasn't trying to min max it. I was just something I was keeping an eye on. Yeah, like I was saying last episode, it seems like illusion wouldn't necessarily make a great, um, like, a combat thing. It's more of a roleplay thing, potentially. But I would like to see it used for combat purposes, because messing with somebody's mind... Well, and I guess that that's the thing, right? Is it's not like a psychological thing, necessarily. Oh, dang, I must have walked a lot. It's not a psychological thing necessarily, like it can be, and I think some of the spells eventually get to that point where it, where it is a psychological in a way, or you're like reading into, you know, what your enemy is afraid of. Oh no, whatever you're doing, you should stop for sure. But, because like, I think... I don't know, would you would you technically classify illusion magic as as something that's like you're you're creating an image outside of someone's head or are you creating it inside someone's head? Like I know some of them like you do reach in and you like grab like their greatest fear or whatever. Um but technically are like basic like minor illusions. Like those are just like thing it, it's something that you create visually, but you don't necessarily like put it planted into somebody's head at that point, you know, like anybody walking up would see this illusion, you know, uh, I would think is how it works. Uh, like you've made an illusion of a tree, everybody walking past would see the illusion of the tree, it's not necessarily that you're in their head, you've just, cre you've just like warped the li like light or whatever in this area to make it look like there's a tree there when there's not, you know. But then there are other illusionary magic that does get into like somebody's head and like pull out their deepest darkest spears or whatever, or or something like that. Anyway, that was sort of a tangent for that. Um, but yeah, I, I would like to see illusion magics used offensively and like really like because yeah, it would mess with somebody maybe to like see something that wasn't there. You know, like it would like you should be like what? And, like you react to it appropriately in such a way. You know that you you think you're you're seeing it, but you're not, and everything. And then you're like, "What is it real?" Oh, geez, you know. And you mess with your own head, essentially. Kind of. Um. Did we? No. Okay. I'm just thinking. I do. Oh, Pinello is level 15, so that's good. Everyone's gonna be starting to take a little longer, a little longer, but I keep kind of wanting a... someone to steal. <laughs> Which means I should probably take ba Bosch out, even though he's... he's pretty close to leveling up. Let's. I just know, like, I, there are some things, like, we have been stealing potions and stuff on occasion, and it would be nice to, like, keep being able to steal those things, but. It's okay. For now, we'll be fine. Anyway, so for my illusionist, who I haven't decided you know, what they necessarily be a drow or a tiefling yet. Uh, because of the drow thing with the whole, like I mentioned last time, with like, you know, trying to like equalize things and put people in the dark or whatever, is, um, it's a cool idea, but I feel like most of loot, well, I was looking at it, a darkness I think is evocation magic, technically. And so I was, I was like, oh, uh, you know, like, I don't necessarily want to be in the evocation schools, you know, which I don't, I know you don't have to be. I just, I've never played a wizard, like, in an actual game before, but I have heard that, like, you know, 
the thing about being a wizard is you can just take spells from any school you want. It's just that at the second level, you get the ability that, like, any spell within your school costs, like, half the amount for you to write it down, essentially. Because you have to, like, pay gold or whatever to, like, write down your spell in your little book or you can't use it, you know? So... You know, it's... I, and I would like, like, if, if I played a wizard, I would want to kind of keep it, like, like pure, you know? Where it's like, I'm only using spells from my school for a reason, you know? And, like, maybe, like, one or two others. Like, it's not a problem, but, like, you know, it's... I would want to focus mostly on... On, like, my, on the spells that I were in my school. Um... And so I put, obviously I put my strength as my doubt stat, um, and I rolled, I rolled, um, the, I think I rolled correctly. I may have actually rolled my dice, like, for, for the stats incorrectly, which would be kind of hilarious, but I think I did, I think I did it right. Um, and I, I rolled them, and I almost always end up making my character up to level three, because level one is so boring. <laughs> And nothing happens, and you don't get to do anything. Like you don't, you don't have anything fun in level one. Oh no, I'm asleep. Do I still get to attack or anything? Oh, I do. Oh, but she cured. Oh, she cured it. Okay, she cured it so fast. Oh dang. Ash leveled up. Perfect. Perfect. Maybe I trade out Ash for somebody now. Although, I think. Oh, I think she's got a. a She's got a bangle on that, an accessory that gives her extra, uh, like, LP or whatever when she levels up. Level up points. She gets extra level up points. Um, where is she? She's down there. Blessings. Yeah, I think that's why she's leveling. She's 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 getting all these freaking ridiculous points, basically. Um, but she's level thirteen now, so I will switch her out for Balthier. Yeah, I will do that. So now we can steal these, and I will have. Heal herself. See, we're starting to get low. Oh, jeez. And what's her MP? Oh, her MP's good. Okay. I will have her heal really quick just to. Lost her. Perfect. I like us to be not not quite so low. What am I trying to do here? What? Nope. This button. Nope, and not an item. Magic. White magic. Cure. Bosh. Over half health is preferable. Look at that too. Like she we've almost doubled her healing efficiency with the um with the, like, the magic potencies that we've been picking up for her. Anyway, so yeah, uh, my strength is my dump stat. Uh, it's negative one modifier. Um, dexterity. Because also, this was kind of odd to me. Uh, I think they said, no, no, it wasn't dexterity. It was actually constitution. Um, whew, nice, okay. Stole, good job out there. Um, it, for the wizard, it suggested intelligence as, like, your, you know, your number one, essentially. And then... Your number one stat. And then a constitution. Which I was like, holy jeez, oh my gosh, I forgot there was a dragon. Just flying around. I was curious though why Constitution was uh, was 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 the next one. I, I I kind of assumed it would be like Wisdom or even Charisma maybe. I know that like you know I think the Warlock's really the only Charisma based caster. Let's actually attack this one. Oh 
Oh, dang. We are just wrecking that thing. I don't even know how one would go about getting that thing's attention, but I don't want to. Anyway, I found, yeah, I, I mean, intelligence obviously made sense, but... And, like, intelligence is associated with book learning in D&D, &D, and wisdom is associated more with, like, life experience type thing. I don't know if the druids... I think, do druids cast through wisdom? They might. I think they do. Uh, and then warlocks cast through charisma because... Just because. Because <laughs> apparently they're smooth talkers. I think it was explained once, and I was like, that's a decent explanation. I'll accept it. But it was, uh, it was a, it was a thin, oops, thin line. All right, we loop around and go back this way. Uh, but yep. Yeah, so anyway, my dexterity is a 14. It's a plus two modifier. Um, I think it suggests, I think the books like, suggested something about dexterity. I think it's because the dexterity modifier. Ooh, nice. What is, I need to look at these uh, achievements and see what they actually mean, what I did. She leveled up! Congratulations! Level 14. Now get back into your room and bring out Vaughn. Go, go, go! Oh, wait. Oh, frick! They both steal. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. <laughs> uh, let's see real quick. Where's he's not bother? Yeah, there. Twenty six hundred thirty two hundred left. To level up to fourteen. Hmm. Maybe I actually take Vano and bring Ash back for this. Haha, yeah. -ha, joke's on you, I've been, I've been down been slow. Wow, is that freaking... That is hell? Oh my gosh. What happened while I wasn't looking? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Pinello's been silenced. Hang on, hang on, Pinello. I'll help you save yourself. Not sleep. Me, 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 me. Oh, Frank! What the? Who the freak is this? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Not that. Um. What am I looking? No, I want to look at his. Everybody, everybody attack this thing. Vaughn, I swear to goodness, my dude. Oh, she's a freaking asleep. And Princess Kiss, um. Did I not freaking. It's okay. At or free and bonds just over there. Just okay. Hang on. Uh, oh, nope, not that. Um, stop it! Stop doing that. So get back over here and attack this enemy. Yeah. They're freaking casting evil met. Well, freaking, what's Ash doing? Is she not attacking anything either? Canelo is silenced again. 
and she's the only one who has the cure for silence. And the magical ability, so... Did I just give her the wrong thing? I... No. I did! Oh, frick! I gave her... No, dang it! I gave her the princess... Oh, man, I messed up. Uh, the Echo Herbs. Yeah. Freaking Ash out here just casting silence any chance she gets. Um which way? Keep going? Okay. Anyway, so yeah, we have that in Constitution I actually made a twelve. I'm not sure why why did I put it? There must have been something that said you could also put there was oh I think there was a specific wizarding class that said to put I think I don't think it was necromancer. I don't know what it was, but it said to put constitution, but otherwise to do dexterity as your secondary yeah. stat. Which I think I think I mentioned that it was potentially because of um the oh, right. The armor, I, yeah, like, because I think uh, dexterity, your dexterity modifier goes into like any sort of natural armor. Because your dodgy dodgy ability. And so, my intelligence is 15, and I got plus two modifier to that. And then, wisdom is a 12 with a plus one, because I do feel like, you know. You should, because like, some of the stuff that you can, um, you do, like, uh, your save, like, your, like, skills that you can get, like, acrobatics and stuff, uh, one of them that you can get as a wizard and as an illusion-based, uh, class is, like, insight. I think it was just wizard. One of the things you could specialize in was insight, which is a wisdom-based throw. Um, and, and you're also, your saving throws are wisdom and intelligence, so I was like, why is it, why is, why do they want me to... Friggin' not have wisdom as like a super mm, like my next stat. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but as like the next thing besides intelligence that I like put my higher numbers into. Um, gambits. We can freaking turn that back on. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, so you're saving throws, wisdom, and freaking she's asleep again. Uh, wisdom, intelligence, and then I picked Arcana and an Insight, which are intelligence and wisdom, uh, respectively, for my special, my, what do you, what is it, what is it in the words, for my skills. Um, you're supposed to get another one, um... the cure for sleep? I don't... Oh, 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 jeez. Yeah. Princess kiss. Frick, man, this is not good. Right? Princess kiss for sleep. Yep. We're almost all out. Money, that's exactly what I need. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, my charisma is a, a 15 also. I I think because that one I did on my own, so it's a plus two modifier. Um, because because as an illusionist, I would assume that you would need to like you know be convincing, you know like. And like you're gonna maybe need to lie a lot. So in my mind, it made sense. I can't remember what class. Maybe it was a necromancer that. Oh no! I just saw that. Um, a necromancer that required that was like you should have your next stat be Constitution or something. Uh, which made sense to me because it seems kind of like a like you could almost like a blood magic situation where you could use like your own life essence essentially 
to power your spells or to like, you know, sacrifice your, your blood or HP or however you want to say it. Um, or for the magic. Freaking she's casting silence again. How many times is she gonna cast silence? Stop casting silence. <laughs> I need it. We need it. We need intervention. Intervention. I just don't I don't have the correct Maybe I should go buy it. It's not like I'm stuck here. I can go somewhere. Alright, we'll leave her be for now, because it is it is helpful, I think, in the long run. As long as she's not casting it over and over again on the same enemy, you know what I mean? Which it kinda seems like she might be doing. Let's see, I'm watching her little bar down there. See now she's out of MP, so she can't do anything but what you know attack in person melee. <laughs> Libra. Anyway, yeah, I figured um, charisma would be good to help me. Like, we could go down there, but I would rather kind of go over here. We're, yeah, either way, it looks like we're gonna have to go down under the ground. Which could be a test of our skills! But... Maybe we'll go back across. Um, oh, but yeah, so I only have, I, I only have two skills with, I think you get it, you generally get a third and sometimes even a fourth with your background, but I haven't picked a background yet because I just, I couldn't really find one that I really liked in the player's handbook, and so I was looking at, uh, at, at other ones, and I don't know, I just wasn't sure I, I was gonna, I don't know, I wasn't really feeling any of them at the time, which, you know, sometimes you just need to get over, but... Um, because I, I don't want her, because, oh, this was the other thing, is I didn't necessarily want her to be, for the illusionist, I, I wasn't like, I was, I wasn't like, oh, yes, they're going to be like a, a party trick person, you know, um, but I do, I was kind of going to have him be like more, um, so we're edgy, I guess, about it. Where my necromancer was actually gonna be a pretty upbeat, like, like happy person, despite you know their their troubles or whatever that they were gonna have. Because necromancers, because she's not gonna be an evil necromancer. She's gonna be. I don't know if you guys have ever read Sabriel. It's a really really good book series. I highly 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 recommend it. Um, about like sort of like a, some like a, like a family essentially that like has like, made necromancy work for them, and, and instead of, like, like, um, using it to necessarily, like, like, raise the dead, they use their necromantic arts to keep the dead and, like, the spirits of the dead, um, down where they, like, belong, essentially, like, instead of being, because in this, in that world, like, it's, like, um, it's, it's cruel, essentially, to use the spirit after it's already gone, you know, gone beyond, you know, where it's, and, and to, to call them back and to call their corpse back is, like, extremely unsettling and nobody likes it, you know, nobody wants that to happen to them. Um, so, in order to keep the dead at peace, uh, this family has essentially created methods to facilitate that. Anyway, it's really, really cool. It's, just, it's called, like, like, uh, it's called the, I think it's the Aborson series? Aborson? Um, but the first book is Sabriel, and it's very good! So that's kind of what I was looking for on my my necromancer was somebody who not I mean you can't do exactly the same thing as like you know as, as I was saying about Sabriel but um but somebody who uses necromancy not in like an evil like far away but just as like a these are essentially like resources to be used I don't know like not like cruel though not like uh, people are not I don't know I don't I'm not saying it very well like. They're not just like bags of meat to be used, but like somebody who found that necromancy was like the best way to get the job done, but like is respectful towards the dead in a, in her own way, you know? So like I figured it would be like a way that you were essentially raised, you know? Where like you don't see it as like, like some cultures would see it as like extremely like terrible and, and like they wouldn't want that for them or their dead. 
Um, but like, with the way she would have grown up, it would have been more of a, you know, like with the utmost respect, do I, do I use this life force again? You know what I mean? Um, even if other people won't see it that way. Traveler, this stuff. We've got enough in the vicinity. Wow, that didn't do diddly crap! It didn't do diddly crap! It didn't do eight crap! What is Vossler doing right now? Oh, Pinello's dead. That doesn't help. Let's see. Stop stealing from people. Mm. This slow is definitely a problem. Oh, and Ash isn't attacking anybody. This is part of the problem. What? What is wrong with her gambit? I have her set to, like, attack if, uh... If she has no MP. I'm watching her, her bar again. Yeah, uh, she's not attacking. Okay, that doesn't help. Like, once she's out of MP, she stops... She stops doing anything. But I... I have her set to... Maybe I should have her set to attack, like, whoever the leader's attacking at the end of everything. Hmm. Let's see. Vossler's level 18. Oh my gosh. Could I actually take him out of the party? No, okay. I didn't want to, but I was curious, because he's just leveling up like a madman. Um, what am I trying to do here? Gambits for Ash. Stop casting this. Oh, jeez. The thing about this is any of these feel like it's it's just something where you're constantly casting, you know? Like you're constantly casting whatever spell you've got associated with these. Um... Oh, did I? Oh, I got rid of the... Oh, I got rid of the one that had her... Okay. Um... What do I do for that? Foe, party leaders, target, attack. Okay, I, I accidentally got rid of that one, it looks like. Okay. Alright, we'll leave it there for... Well... No, actually, I do want to put that one... There... Because these are a little more specialized, where, and so I don't want her code to have to go through all of these before getting to this, you know? Although, in this situation where I would need to go through these... Eh, actually, yeah, it should be at the bottom. I think, anyway. Alright. A potion, they're good, I needed those. Uh, anyway, her HP is 18, which is paltry. Uh, I know wizards are like little tiny glass cannons, but holy cow, that's insane, actually. Um, and again, I don't, I don't have like her, her background stuff yet, which comes sometimes with features and whatnot. I don't have any of those, so. Or like your racial, sometimes you have like racial traits. I think for the drow though, I did like that the drow, because I did look at spells. I went up, I, I basically leveled her up to like third level. It was, what was for, my first level health was going to be five. I was like, Ugh. like that's crazy. I, uh, that's just insane to me. Um, 
but I leveled it up to 18 for three. Um, but the, the drow, as a racial uh, trait, they get dancing lights as a spell they can just cast, because all elves are like inherently magical to a, to a degree. Um, at least that's how the book says it, you know? Um, but, oh dang, I just realized that it is time for the episode to end. Otherwise, things are just going to keep going on forever and ever. So we'll get into the spells for the next episode. This is actually working out slightly better than I thought, even though I don't think we're getting very far on any <laughs> on the D&D stuff, which is fine. It's not supposed to be the focus. It's just there if, like, I don't know, I want something to talk about. But anyway, thank you all so much for, wa little, 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 so much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. I hope I'm enunciating enough, because sometimes I worry that I let my stupid southern drawl that I've got uh, get the best of me. So anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying the videos, and I hope to see you in the next one.